Morning, John. Hello, Alex, and hello, everyone, and welcome to the absolutely beautiful Sudbury Golf Club. Oh, so near, yeah. near Wembley. And it's like you've got all of the all of the building work in the sort of horizon. Yeah. And this beautiful little bit of paradise right here. Right now. Right here, right now. And look at this is the first hole here. I should say, because I'm an idiot, I didn't bring the microphones. Yeah, he's an idiot. It's Just the like who's an idiot. It's the morning after the semi-final, so. And Alex was mic'd up for the entire thing, recording his reactions. Yeah, pretty much. I am hungover and tired. I've only had four hours sleep, John. Why? So I was filming an important show. How were you uh, hanging out with Peter Patrick and John? I was hanging out with Wayne Rooney and Declan Donnelly. Did you really? Yeah, I'm cool. Because they were there, and I'm really cool, but that meant I didn't bring the microphone. But anyway, I think you can hear us, uh, but there might be a bit of voiceover on it as well. Yes, bad golfers, uh, that's right. John Robbins here, uh, recording some voiceover for this week's video at 7 a.m. Uh, because I need to fit it in amongst other things due to Alex's lack of diligence leaving behind the microphones. Anyway, back to the vid. The scores, John, that's the exciting news. It's two and a half all. Two and a half all. In this race to... Yeah, is there a place that sounds like Dubai? 23, so Bay? half of that is... Oh. Uh, 23, half of that is 11.5. So it's a race to 12. Yeah, it's a race to 12. The race to Dubai. Also, I would just like to say thank you for all the uh, logos you have probably sent in. Mm. Uh, we are recording this just after the last round where we announced the competition. Um, but when they, when we choose a winner, we will uh, record a special little video for you. Also, I'm in my shorts. Thank Great. you, Cobra. Thank you, Cobra. All right, let's see this one, and I'm going to hit some. Smashed. <laughs> welcome everyone to Sudbury Golf Course. He's saying, he's saying welcome to Sudbury Golf Course. Oh yeah, Alex forgot the bloody mics. What a beautiful first hole we have. Um, it's two and a half all. Thank you to Sudbury Golf Club for having us. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank you to Cobra Puma for these fetching slack. They are very fetching. A little bit right, but it's bounced in. Not a bad way to start. Lovely. P1. Position one, that means. Twitchy horn. So twitchy. Alex, it's not really fair when I'm in P1 for you to then be in P1 as well. We're both in P1, like in primary school. <laughs> right, we're off. being good at golf. <laughs> These are bees having sex. Lovely touch there, Dave, on the pixelation. Big fan of that. <gasps> Hope you replaced that divot, Alex. That's a shame. It's playing all right till then. What happened? Quite a clever shot, that. Not many people would have dared to do what I did then. 81 yards, Alex. 81, alright. Better. Thank you. The rules are Alex has a shot until he wins a hole, then we're back to the quick. And then if he loses a hole, he gets a shot back. It's called Sunningdale. It's working very well. Johnny J out here, probably about 60 yards. Look at that. Oh, I like your divot. Oh, I like your divot. Look at that. And look, what, what's he doing? What's the first thing he's doing? Replacing his divot. Please replace your divots and fix your pitch marks, people. Couldn't agree with you more, John. So we're there as we lie because of the shot system. Yeah. These greens were so fast. Very fast. 
lovely, lovely greens. Take that away. Okay, thank you, John. So what's that for you? That is six. I need this to halve. You do, which seems harsh. Oh, what a beautiful day. This is it, this is golf. Apparently some people were annoyed by the tense music on all of the uh, putts, so we have lessened it because it's a democracy. Oh mate. And that's why he's the player that he is. So John starts with a par, we are all square. After start all. with a par. Good start John. Thank you. And the sun has just come out and I have put on my factor 50 mate because i played at the buckingham shirt the other day uh with an old uni friend called phil hi phil hi phil and i got burnt through the clouds burnt through the clouds burnt through the clouds sounds like a, a book of prize shortlisted novel he's still talking but we can't hear him because we haven't got the mics on burnt through the clouds where are we going all the way over here yeah it's a long long walk oh this is beautiful Look, it's, can you zoom in on that view, please? I can actually zoom in because I've changed this camera settings. John, you're good to go. Oh, right. Top tip, bad golfers. I hit that straight right onto the other fairway. The difference in the way I'm playing now than the way I used to play is I'm not stressing about that because you can still make par with a mistake. So I'm just thinking, right, when I get there, I'll approach it in a very uh, relaxed way, just find out what's the best way to get back on the fairway, back on the fairway at all costs to give me my next shot potentially to the green. Very low stress. Didn't panic that my game had gone. Didn't panic that I couldn't hit my driver anymore. Just thought, okay, next shot's a challenge. Remember, positive or neutral reactions to shots only. Back to Alex's drive. Lovely. I will see you later. I'll, I'll, I will come, because, you know, we might miss a few old Johns this round. you go over the top? Is that what's happening? No, I'm, I'm just going to try and get it just in front of those bunkers. So wise. Low stress. Oh, shot. He likes it. Oh, lovely. Very nice. That is so, that's the difference between bad golf and average golf. <laughs> I, was, I was not stressed playing the shot, so I played a better shot. Lovely. It's all right. Hi, John. At my um, at Wickham Heights two days ago, I played. I was having a really good round. On the final hole, I had a shot very similar to this, about 100 yards, and I stuck it within a foot of the pin. Oh. Tap in birdie. Oh dear. And then I entered the wrong score in the machine at the end of the round. What does that I, mean? I couldn't believe. I just got befuddled by the fact I'd got a birdie so I put a par into the machine which means that it stands because it's higher score whereas if I'd put in a lower score it would have been disqualified. Fun fact. That's where golf is silly. This is just a gentle pitching wedge here Alex. Okay. Oh John. Oh Gentle just off the back. Is that the first ever positive oh John? That was what it was, was it? <laughs> I had no idea where it gone. A positive oh John. Sometimes when you hit it gently, you actually, that's how you should be hitting it anyway. So the ball goes really far, which is what happened there. Yeah, it's a good line. Horn with a, I'm gonna say 45 foot putt. Coming up over the ridge there, needs to make sure he gets on this top plateau. Takes one practice swing, takes two, and now he addresses the ball in his Tato hat. 
he's got the pace. This looks good. This could be, it's too much. It's way too much. Oh my God. It's a million. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, but it's coming back like, it just rolled back a bit like the pros do. It's really fast. I think these down the hill are going to be really tough. Johnny JR electing to putt. Yeah, it must be said. Always putt from these positions, bad golfers. I mean, not that badly. Very, very, very poor. If uh, BBC ever need a new golf correspondent, more than happy. Hits the, <laughs> hits the chip, <laughs> hits the ball marker. I mean, I wasn't aiming for that. <laughs> Just a terrible putt again. I think the greens have got the beating of us so far. Take it away. So this is a double. For the hole for a double. It's in. Correct in. One up. One up. Six. Two sixes. Two sixes and you lose your shot. I lose my shot. Two sixes. One up. Okay, so it's just up to there. Yep. Quite a tight, a tight hole. Tight hole. It looks yeah. I don't mind playing first, Alex. If you're ready, then why not? Oh, being followed round by a greens person. Oh, look at the shape. Lovely shape, John. Right, hard to complain about being followed round by a greens person because they are doing, they're working very hard to keep the, the course in good shape. Oh dear. Someone did send in a pretty detailed analysis of Alex, Alex's swing, uh, which Alex has taken absolutely no notice of. I'd be an idiot if I hit this tree. Yeah, it's just a 40 yard punch out. Big fan of that shot. Oh, 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 oh. oh, went a bit further than that. Yeah. When you don't know the course, you don't really know what's up there. See the green, don't know where the pin is on the green. Just a lovely, gentle little PW. Let's have a whiskey. Oh, don't mind that. A little fly on my ball. Pre prepare to live your dreams, little fly. Oh. That's going to work out just fine, is it? No. Oh, has it gone off? That was a very poor shot. Very tense shoulders. Blame the fly? I think the fly played a part in it, but obviously he's, uh, or she, has weighted the ball. All day, John. All day. I think you missed a little horn there, Dave. I think I said, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely connection. It's a lovely shot. Alex, it's too well. Oh. I don't know. Well, good. Oh, that's lovely. Great shot, John. That's such a good shot. Take it away. Putting from I think there. So. Always putt from the fringe, guys. Which means I have to get this into half the hole. So it's one, two, three, four putt. Four putt. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the hardest. Okay. We've seen these things before. Come on, Horn. About 45 feet. Has he given it the le Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> wow, that's really short. It's so far. But even that though, I thought it was going to be shorter. Um, don't worry about my score. Is it? Uh, Interesting. Uh, I'd be using those putts to give me a feel for the greens. I wouldn't give me a six, I'll give me a seven. We're back to all square. All square, John's shot shape here. What is this, a par five or is it? This is a... Another dog leg left. This is a par four, but it's a long one. Ooh. Shaping it round the corner. Open stance there. Yes. Look at that. Like that. Perfect. It's been intended to shape that in that way, Alex. Isn't that Great lovely? thing is when you fix a slice, which I think I've always nice. done, long, you're then able to revert to it when you need it, which is what happened there. Oh dear. I hit the ground quite a long way before the ball. It's all right, you got the shot there. Yeah, luckily. I think I hit it six inches before the ball. Low and far is what I'm going for. Now bad golfers, hybrids out of the rough 
and fairway woods more difficult than you think. That's why he's chunked that. I don't think I'm playing this hole very well. I've not got the fairway yet after two. Oh dear. I think I've thrown away my shot now. Shot number three, not yet on the fairway. You need a little bit of loft to get you out of rough. <laughs> I've got to focus on hitting the ball. Yes. Oh, nice little draw. Yeah, oh, fair. lovely shot. Right. That's not no, that's all right in three. What's the question, John? The question is, do I go for this green? It's only 155. No, it's not. It's playing about 175. You can't go for the green, don't you? But I've had three shots. You only had one. Well, I would. We've never. Have we ever had an eagle putt before? Is it a par five? You yeah. said it's par long par four. Oh yeah, it's par four. Oh, par this four. is your eagle putt. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put Regal in here. <laughs> oh, it's gone right to all places. That's in the bunker. Oh, dummy. It's not in the bunker. It's just on the little brow. Bumps alert. Oh, -ho. Oh, it's that good. Fine, but hit it horribly. One of them. Pin high. Yeah. That's, that's a mark of a good club. They are great clubs. Thank you, King SZ, for forgiving me. Okay, John with his third here. Answers there in four, but with a shot. So it's still interesting. This is where someone who's good at golf would rather be in the bunker, but because I'm so bad in bunkers. I'd actually rather play them. Oh, I much prefer that, I agree with you. Yep. Take that. It was lovely filming. There's no two ways about it. Good weight. Good weight. Just outside the circle of desire there. I don't think, Alex. No, I didn't think. Oh, he's spit stabby. Oh, I do think that is fine. That's a bogey. It's a double bogey to halve the hole. Double bogey to half. Ah, oh, Alex. One up to John. Oh well. Right, I think you deserve that hole, to be honest. I suppose it is a hole in one, even though it's quite a long one. I suppose we'll get one. One of us should. Just sorting out his Arcos there. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a hole in one, John. I'll it probably one. adds five seconds a hole. I, think I'll get one. I would thoroughly recommend Arcos to anyone wanting to improve their golf. Oh, I like that. Oh, mate. Could it be a hole in one? In the green? Not quite. Just, um, just short. Just shy. It's quite a long way. Pretty pretty for that. Oh, yeah, when you hit a bad shot, always try and keep your eye on it. Oh, An absolute shocker there. Dear. You ran away. You went over there. There you are. Oh, oh. Still got a putt for par. Two bad shots gives you a putt for par. Again, the filming was bang on. The filming was lovely. Uh-oh. He's still in it. Five. Five. He's a bit tentative. Oh, square. That's a very confident drive. Very low, don't mind it. But yeah, but low because of the slope a bit. Yeah. Top tip, bad golfers. Just in the rad speed. If you're ever on a sloped tee box, 
Okay, you can the move feet. it to the club length play back. with absolute freedom. Just find a part of the tee box that's flat because you don't really be playing a ball above or below your feet. Almost the same, but just a bit shorter. Yeah, that was a bit too low. It hit the ground. Don't know where the hole is. I think it's just straight. Fine, fine. We well, are all square, and I don't have any shots on this hole. This bloody Tato hat. Come on, Alex. We are brand ambassadors for Cobra Puma Golf. Oh, yeah. This is a bit of the round I like, John. When you're a few holes in, it's not near the end. You're not tired. I like the fit. What time is it? It's 10.25. Also, I've just noticed he's not even wearing his Puma top. He's wearing a golf sidekick water player top. Respect to golf oh, sidekick. John. Oh, John there. Toesville. Toesville, indeed. Toesville. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now, as much as we love Golf Sidekick and his That's wisdom, his with. we're not being sponsored by him. So apologies, Cobra Puma Golf, again. That's not oh, bad. That's very, very, very poor. It's not, John. Still going, though. I mean, John, pin high. Yeah. I don't know what to do on that shot. I mean, well, I someone's about to tell you, mate. Club, really. Do you think just. Shall I show you what I do on that shot? Yeah, if you want. Watch this. I mean, I, I sort of regret not putting, to be honest. So if it's here. You, you want. There's so much loft being put on the club by the slope that it turns a sand wedge into sort of a. probably an eight iron. Mm. So what I do. And I haven't seen other people do this, but use a very sort of wristy shot, almost sort of good, like mm. a grass cutter. Mm. So it makes it much easier if I, I'm trying this right-handed. Only a genius would be able to do this right-handed. Oh, look at that! I'd like that guy on the golf channel. And well, that's right-handed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is right-handed. <laughs> there you go, John. What a nice bit. That was probably one of the best moments of my golfing career, doing that right-handed. Oh, what a putt, taken away. it's a lovely putt. So I've got one for the win, two for the half. Correct. <gasps> oh, very nice. It goes one up with a par. Very good, John. Uh, oh. Kestrel coming down? He's missed the Kestrel. I missed the Kestrel. And there it is. Beautiful hole. It's John. Oh, and down there. Let's see, I think this is the one. This is the one where you want to get a hole in one. The others I haven't been so bothered. Also, folks, you're there. Also, folks, big thank you to Arcos. So I use Arcos in my clubs. I don't know if you can see that. Right, you can't see. You can see Alex. Hello, guys. Anyway, because of the sunshine, you can't really make it out. But uh, oh dear. Anyway, it, worry about it, John. it's very difficult to judge distances on hole like this, holes like this. So it's 144 yards, but it's playing 123. Yeah. And Arcos tells you that info. Uh, you can't use that info in tournaments. You have to turn that off for competitions. However, with these rounds, because we're both, I'm giving the information to Alex, tells me that this is a nine iron. Holes in ones. That's a hole in one, Alex. It's just right, it's a lovely shot. It's a perfect shot. Alex, I am four foot from the pin. Yeah, it's a nice shot, John. Four foot from the pin. On with a, on with a shot, though, so he's not worried. Oh, that's a good point. Just needs to do the same. Oh, it's a lovely strike, but it's gone very left. Still, with a shot, he's, got, he's in the hole. There's John, and there's John's ball. Can you see that? There it is. Nice. Go on, a bit more, a bit more. Oh, that's annoying. So close. Okay, so this has to go 
in. Give me a chance of winning. So what you see there, folks, is the opposite of the last shot. That's actually adding uh, loft to his club because he's on an upslope. I mean, to, to win this game, I've got to win this hole. So he should have hit a pitching wedge or maybe even I've a nine iron. Three shots. You've got one. This is to go, Dormy. So I'm, what, five foot there. A PGA Tour pro will miss this putt 20% of the time. Oh, miss Reed. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's a hard hole. Check out the PGA Tour nice. make Good percentages. From seven feet, they get it just over go half go of the go time. Go 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 go. Oh. He's two up with two to play. Vaughn's not getting your point here. Johnny JR, Dormy. You must be, what, five over after a seven? Uh, four pars for Robbins. Right, Horn needs to win this, and he will. With his extra shot. ground a bit there. Two good drives. Two good drives by two great guys. Uh, that's a good question What's the question, John? Yeah, well, you've been doing Peter Crouch's program. Yes. Which is why he forgot the mics. Maya Jammer. Maya Jammer. And footballers for many, many years had a very bad rep. But it's starting <laughs> to change with people like your Sterlings. Your All the England team. Everyone the likes them. Team. Mr Southgate and Sam. Yeah. So who are some of the nicest footballers you've met doing Peter Crouch's programme? They're all absolute owls. <laughs> now they've all been 100% nice. Have they? Ashley Williams. Yeah. Really oh, nice. Big fan of him. Really nice. Wayne Rooney introduced himself to the trumpeter, completely unnecessary. I'm Wayne. Oh. Hello, I'm Wayne. Uh, lovely. Um, well, you get, you, you know, you get your red naps. Yeah. Very nice man. Lovely man. You get your... Uh, I'll tell you who's really nice, Glenn Johnson. Oh, geez, Very nice. Hey, they all junior. happen to be ex-Liverpool players. Really? Yeah, pretty much. Barnsey. Is he nice? Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty wild, I'd say. Really? Yeah, but I think all that lot were pretty wild. So well, they had, their careers were sort of quite busy, weren't they? Yeah, well, Merson and Adams were both on, and they were both, you know, they're now broadcasters, but they, they all had tales tells to tell. We're all nice. I think footballers are right. I think they've turned a corner. And good luck to them. Good luck to you all, footballers. Footballers. From, from every nation. It's the, it's, uh, this is the day after the semi-final. The World it Cup semi-final. I blame some of my game on that, I think. Oh, my line's horrible. Okay. If he replaces those two divots. I don't know how to do this. You've got to stay low. Come on, it's that slow. Just grip down um, a little bit longer. Oh, how do I... I'm hitting it there, on the slope. How do I do that? The problem here, folks, is I don't actually know the answer to the question. No, but what I mean is... How do I not hit the ground first? You just need to hit down into the ball. Yeah. I'm guessing at best find hitting balls out of divots very difficult. But it's got into his head, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's horrible. It's so annoying after a good drive. Good man. Yeah. Needed to, need to win this hole. Replace those Ds. Lovely. Hmm, looked a bit risty. Nice. Well done. Not what, we, not what we wanted to see. As annoyed as I am that Alex didn't wear much Puma merch, I have to say, that golf sidekick, what a player. Oh dear. Shirt that I bought, Alex, does look lovely. However, look at this, look at this full Puma setup there. Oh, that looks like a good shot, John. That is a good shot. <sighs> Lovely. On the green for another par. Probably could have taken a bit more club there. Oh pretend you're on at the range. A lot to do from here. 
So we're looking for an up and down, I think. Oh, tricky again. Unlucky with his lies. It's not a bad shot. I think that's the game, John. I don't think you can have five shots and not be on the green. Luckily, this new format, we play two games every round. It's so much nicer. You'd be a long way ahead. Oh, I'm on the green, I'm on the green. Right, I've had five, you've had three. You got, you got two putts for the game. He can't, he can't, he can't. Yes, John. He can. I mean, John has played. <laughs> You're five over after eight. Oh, no. I don't believe that one in. I'm picking it up. This is too depressing. Well played, John. Well played, everyone. I mean, he's an amazing at golf. I think I might be oh, my God. ready for the open qualifying, maybe. Um, thank you so much for watching, folks. You will see edited highlights of the final hole. Uh, thank you so much to Sudbury Golf Club. And thank them also for giving us these lovely little chip marker chips with their crest on. Back nine in two weeks time. Bye bye. John, you played absolutely amazingly. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, make sure we remember the microphones next time, but a little bit of fun to have a voiceover. He's going to absolutely slam this. Boom. Nice. Get over the little hum. Lovely. Good from Horn. Lovely course, honestly. If you live in London. I think I played all right. I'm just uh, about 12 over. If you live in London. Go get a par. A par would be nice on this one. Go to Sudbury. Looks quite unassuming from the outside, but what a gem of a course. That's nice. And Not far. tell them Bad Golf sent you. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, it's a shine. Yeah, but uh, another chance for a par. Yeah, lovely shot. Right, John, you need to play some bad shots for the viewer. I don't think you understand the point of the channel. It's meant to be relatable. <laughs> well, I hope it's provided some inspiration. Hey, it's a story of falling in love with golf and getting it. There you go. And it just goes to show, bad golfers, no matter how bad you are, a little bit of dedication, a little bit of having an inordinate amount of free time over a pandemic. <laughs> uh, you can get pretty decent at golf. That's it, folks. The ultimate tip. Oh Hit the ground first again. Just organise a little pandemic to free up a year and a half of your life. You can get good at golf. I do. Oh, that's not bad, mate. What a shot. Take it away, John. It's a par. I mean, it's unbelievable goal. Doesn't have a line on his ball. And yet, what a putt. Okay. Oh, oh play, John. Six, six par, five par? He's left his trolley at the front of the green. Golfer over there. Right, we'll see you in two weeks. People hate that for some reason, leaving your trolley in front of the green. Got to be able to make a quick getaway. Anyway, folks, second round next week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.